everyone, and welcome back to my studio. For this piece, I wanted to do something specifically geared toward the theme of the exhibition that I took place in just a couple days ago. Now, for me, being born and raised in a city like Chicago, when I heard the words urban garden, the very first thing that I thought about was all the beautiful graffiti that this city has to offer. So in creating this piece, I knew I wanted to bring together bold lines, graphic shapes, and feminine florals. Because my work is relatively small when compared to paintings that are on like three foot canvas, I've always really admired graffiti artists, especially those that can do massive paintings you know, on the tops of these tall, ridiculous buildings. And I just, I know how difficult it is for me to have honed my talent thus far and to be able to do something, you know, on that scale is just really amazing to me. And I could only dream of being that good one day. So really, I took this as an opportunity to kind of practice what I would like to put on a wall someday, just on a much smaller scale, obviously. The first thing that I needed to do to lay in kind of the foundation for this piece was to render the brick wall. So I kind of just let the paint do what it wanted and followed it from there. Um, I laid in a wash of kind of a yellowy beige tone and then just took note of where it pooled into darker areas and just kind of spread it around so it was dark and light and um, there was kind of a shift in tone so it ended up looking like a brick wall. For this character, I was very inspired by Japanese geisha who are very skilled in traditional arts, dance, and music, but I wanted to give her a twist and make her a graffiti artist. This allowed me to incorporate Japanese lettering, which I feel like is just really beautiful and graphic and it was just really suited to what I was doing. It was lettering, but it was also an image. So it, it just worked out really well. Initially, I planned on doing her hair a really dark brown, um, but I decided that there just wasn't enough contrast between what would end up being her hair color and the background. So I decided to go with a cooler gray tone. Um, later on I put in a second layer just to help balance out those parts that I did actually color brown. Now in the initial drawing stages I knew I wanted her to be wearing this black hooded cloak and I was trying to figure out like what were her hands gonna be doing in this and like how was she gonna be standing and every concept that I came up with just didn't seem to work. It separated her too much from the wall behind her. And I really wanted it to feel like she was a part of the graffiti. So I kind of just let her cloak turn into the ink that would inevitably be on the wall. So her and her graffiti are one in the same. She's creating art and she is art. Now the lettering or characters that I put beside her are Japanese, um, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. It's sakura, which is Japanese for cherry blossom, which are the flowers that I put in flowing from her hair. Cherry blossoms are a very symbolic flower in the Japanese culture because they bloom in the spring and represent a time of renewal. 
also because they go through their life cycle so quickly, they are often associated with the fleeting nature of life. After their beauty peaks around two weeks, the blossoms fall off the trees and die. For me, this is a bittersweet reminder that life is just too short to not chase your dreams and do the thing you love. You have to take advantage of the time while you have it. Next, of course, I'm putting in the white highlights, which is one of my favorite parts of doing any piece. I feel like it just really completes it and pulls everything together. It makes the things that I want to pop, pop. Like in this case, the black cloak that she's wearing is instantly transformed into this beautiful darkness dripping from her hood, which bonds her to the graffiti beside her. gotta take just a sec to appreciate the music that I found for this video. It reminds me of old school hip hop like RZA and Iron Fist where they just like splice together all of these beautiful sounds and beats and I don't know, he made magic. Last but never least, a little bit of sparkle goes a long way. I just wanted to add a little bit of it in the pollen um, just to give her a little bit of shimmer. with the outcome of this piece. I hope that you all enjoyed the process. I think it's a great balance between elegant colors, graphic shapes, and bold lines. As I mentioned in the beginning, this piece was made specifically for the Urban Garden Exhibition. So here is Sakura in her frame at the exhibition. As always, thank you all so much for watching, but before I head out, here's a little video of the showcase. <laughs>